Binance secures financial services permission from ADGM and EFG Hermes sees a 93% surge in revenue. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Rami Efron. Binance has secured financial services permission from the Financial Services Regulatory Authority of Abu Dhabi Global Market. In line with Binance's expansion efforts in the Middle East, the FSP will enable the blockchain giant to provide custody to professional clients provided they meet the conditions of the FSP outlined by FSRA. Binance says it's committed to working closely with forward-thinking regulators and cities to develop a clear and beneficial regulatory framework that safeguards market integrity and consumer safety. EFG Hermes Group revenues for Q3 surged 95% year-on-year to $939.55 million, driven by strong results booked by the investment bank and non-bank financial institution platform, as well as the consolidation of AI bank revenues during the period. This filtered through to a group net profit before tax of $26.55 million, up 70% from Q3 2021. Officials say the results come despite challenges they faced with the global economic backdrop, fueled by rising inflationary pressure, global supply chain constraints, and the recent devaluation of the Egyptian pound. UAE-based online investment platform Baraka has raised $20 million in a Series A funding round led by Valar Ventures. It's a VC firm backed by billionaire entrepreneur Peter Thiel. Noel Wood also participated in the fundraising round. Baraka, a Robinhood-like platform, allows investing in over 6,000 U.S. stocks and ETFs with no commission. The startup is currently working across the GCC and Egypt with a plan to double down on its presence across these markets following the funding round. The Global Cybersecurity Forum in Riyadh called for global collaboration to counter threats and highlighted cyber advancements likely to dramatically change the world. The mega event covered issues including resilience in the energy supply chain, child protection online, countering cyber conflict, women in cybersecurity, and tackling cybercrime. Held under the theme Rethinking the Global Cyber Order, the forum hosted more than 120 speakers from the government, private sector, and NGOs, policymakers, and industry specialists. It saw 9,000 attendees from 117 countries attend in person, while thousands joined online. Let's take a look now at today's Forbes Real Town Billionaires ranking. It tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's richest people. Our biggest winner today is Tencent's Mahua Tang, up $3.2 billion with net wealth of $32.5 billion. Our second biggest winner today is Jim Walton, up $3 billion with net wealth of $62.7 billion. And our third place winner is Alice Walton, up $3 billion with net wealth of $60.5 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. NASA's Artemis 1 mission finally took flight today, launching a new era of human exploration after months of delays. It marks a major milestone on the road to returning astronauts to the moon's surface. The rocket is the most powerful to leave Earth. The successful launch comes after engineers made last-ditch efforts to fix leaks and other technical issues detected just hours before the launch. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.